Her background's television, but there was always music. A major laser project was huge exposure, but maybe she wasn't ready then. Now she is. Zia Benjamin sent a stage on ER's Ladies' Night. Get out of me, miss me Changing tune, former TV producer slash director pouring sometimes painful personal experience into her songs, among Zia Benjamin's small screen credits, business access, and mission catwalk. There's a misconception that, you know, creatives are only creative in one capacity. I've always been multifaceted in my creativity. From when I was a little girl, like I was turning to music as my like sanctuary it's always been my sanctuary it's just know that I'm like stepping you know in front of the camera with it I guess Benjamin introduced the music producer Rory Stonelove by another of his female collaborators a nice move by another woman since Azia says she wants to promote female solidarity within the music industry Zia's and Rory's efforts resulting in a track called no fame. It's calling my name, trying to get me. Oh, what do I bring to the plate? You know, the only thing that I can bring to the plate is my honesty. You know, I think the, the best music is honest music. It comes from the heart. I know fame was incredibly honest for me. I actually didn't expect it to come out first. Um, it was more of a freestyle, you know, I was leaving Rory's studio. This is like the first day that Rory and I recorded, by the way. I walked into his studio, he's like, why is this little uptown white girl walking into my studio? And I'm like, um, first of all, I'm mixed. Second of all, you need to listen to me sing and I can write and I have something to say. Is it money or you want to be seen? I didn't know you had white singers in Jamaica at the time. Then get to understand say, a father black and a mother white. And see it so um then i heard a voice and voice was a knuckle it's like wow voice wicked no fortune no fame for me she's like very very professional because you have enough sister who record don't really, don't really take things seriously they, they think about the visual first oh the video the video gonna look like this it's gonna look like that and even think, think about how the actual production of the voice is gonna sound like you know so um with zia now she made sure her vocal was as best as it could be at the time you know and even now, she's still growing as a vocalist. I mean, her voice is getting better and better and better. I love that life, you see. And I was really freestyling my frustrations with the industry. I was freestyling about my heartache, but also questioning my authenticity. And that was a big deal for me, like whether I want to be in front of the camera and what are, what are my motives for being in front of the camera? Like, do you want to be a star? Is that all it is or is it? something more like what are, exactly what are you going to bring to the plate her mom a german who impulsively moved to jamaica where she met zia's dad a dominican she tells me the story like she woke up with the radio playing and wake up and live by marley was playing on the radio and it was a freezing cold day out night snow and she decided i have to change my life and at 21 she like did not even speak she, 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 she spoke high school english she got on a plane came to jamaica and completely changed her life and um, that is the influence that Jamaican music has on people. I feel like I am a direct, in, like a direct manifestation of the influence of Jamaican music and therefore Jamaica is in my blood, it's in my sweat, it's in my tears and I give my life to this country and I feel like I'm as Jamaican as you can say. Before meeting Rory, one of her early tracks heard by Diplo of Major Lazer and Diplo is writing me, girl, you sound like Billie Holiday, let's do some music, you know? And then after that, I'm talking to record labels and this was in a matter of less than a month and I knew nothing about music. <laughs> I just knew singing in my bedroom. I was, I, I had been writing my entire life, but I was never a musician. I was a poet who could sing. Get out of me, Miss Emmy her voice, the bridge on the huge major laser hit, Jet Blue Jet. But at the same time, my, my name wasn't on the song. And, you know, I don't really want to go into the details of that because it's still something I'm, I'm working on, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But at the same time, it's one, it's one of two things. I knew that I think at that stage, I was unprepared for that fame because I didn't know how to sing. <laughs> You know, and also, even though I love the song, 
it wasn't necessarily the direction that I wanted to go with my music. No, no, no way. Everything in its time, but producers also liking what they saw, which was nice, but also a sore spot for the inexperienced youngster. You know, it's something good, like obviously, like you're marketable. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and be like, boy, I wish I was ugly so that, you know, I could just really sing and people would listen to just my voice. No, let's be real. They see the potential in pretty and they don't necessarily wanna know what you have to say. It's really funny, because the first time that a record label um, showed interest in me, they got my then manager to asked me for a photo shoot. The first photo shoot was on the beach in a bikini. Now we're Jamaican and I have no problem in being in, on the beach in a bikini, but that should not be my first photo shoot. I have a voice. You gain the fame without losing your soul. With her TV background, Zia had no problem directing her own music video for No Fame, an all-woman production. Even my editor is a, is a woman, and I think that challenges the concept in Jamaica that women can't work together. Everybody always has to compete, no. Don hair, very slick, and the track getting airplay. The little girl that's writing on her arms in the video, that's me when I was a child. Like, I was going to country, like, writing all over myself with Marco because I had lyrics in my head from that age. And you cannot look at somebody who has that much passion and that, that much importance in their dream and just be like it's all about looks and you know we're just gonna make you a brand you can't do that that's foolishness no way, no way, no way. the story behind no fame clearly a painful topic i don't really want to talk about the details of my experience even though music for me has always been been my sanctuary it turned me off of music for a very long time in fact going back to rory's studio was like I hadn't sang in like months like almost a year I hadn't sang after that experience I was so frustrated and so turned off and like so angry and I walked into Rory's studio and yeah like that's where no fame came from I on that mediocrity. lots of singing stuff in the pipeline and non-stop songwriting, her big dream to cut a track for James Bond, but right now working with Rory. Doing a song is one thing, but the team is all about your team, so she's going to have to realize that you have 100%, you have 100%, and then you're going to have to start sharing that 100% to go forward. It's, it's, you can't be selfish and feel say, and keep 100% and it's going to happen. You know, you have to like say, boy, 10% for, for somebody who can do this, 10% for somebody who can do that. So it's like, it's just like, if I was here, I said, all that 50% and give the other 50 to people who can make things happen. That was, that's the game I would play. Listen out for Zia Benjamin. And yes, she's Jamaican. Like, I just want to work. Like, I'm just trying to be better. And I think the only thing that I can offer is, is humanity and the fact that, like, this is a work in progress and y'all just have to, like, you know, Chad with me, I guess. I love that life you see. Love a one night I heals and Hennessy.